is not very long. That's, do you guys play video games together? League, League of Legends, Diablo, yeah. Magic Gathering. Is it? How did you How did you go about getting a place together? Uh, well, I was looking to get out of my mother's place. He was looking to get out of his mother's place. And how did you? How do you communicate? With, like, how did you? Were you playing Magic Gathering together, or were you? Were you talking together somewhere? Were you friends for? You go to college together. Uh, Classes. No, I first met him. Uh, when I was like eighth grade. Yeah. So I knew him for quite a while. So you have been friends. You've been staying in touch. Like through Facebook, did you? Who whose idea was it first? Like. That was mine. It was yours. It's good. Good to take initiative. So you know? he was looking for a place. He's like. I should get out of here because I don't want to be in here. Hey, you need a roommate? You? Know, it's kind of how it went down for me. First time, 18 years old. You know, friend. I had a friend living with us. I don't know if you ever knew him. Um, I, I understand you gotta get back to work, but yeah, it was nice. You have a first place, you know, first apartment. I don't know if that's your first one, but. Um. Let's go with, uh, we'll keep it simple. The cheese bread doesn't come with sauce, does it? Um, just go with the bread. Just the, cur just the combo. All right, uh, 370 after tax. How much, wait, 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 wait. How big are those pizzas? Um, the $5. They're uh, the same size as the cheese bread. Like, that big, about. That's the pizza? That's the size of the pizza? Yeah. And they're about the same size as the cheese bread? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then the sticks. What would you say is just more mass? Probably the lunch combo, or. The breadsticks aren't really. Uh, the breadsticks is 10 ounces of dough. The lunch combo thing or the cheese bread is 12 ounces of dough. Mm, dough wise, it's more. Hmm. Actually, for the price, it seems fine. We'll just go we'll go with the bread. I want to keep it simple because I'm. Already. Oh, uh, 370 after tax. So, it's nice to remove myself from sort of a casual, sort of a friendly conversation, you know, to just, like, you know, when I look at stuff, like the, the bread, you know, I think, what I'm really thinking is just that my, my friend here, my, he's just, in resource. What? Would you say that's what, like, one of the things that I'm trying to do with, like, the video, this, this has nothing to do with the job, but, uh, well, it does have to do with the job. Like, do you see, do you see, like, food service? Like, as kind of a, a well, I don't know how to put this, even whether I'm questioning it, or, uh, I mean, I know what it, it is, what it is. But the way that I'm looking at it, like, I haven't talked to you in so long, so I don't know where to begin, really. But um, I, I see, like, food as, like, chemistry, like, being distributed stuff. I mean, obviously, these things could all be local, except maybe the plastic. But it's possible that it could be converted from stuff below the ground. Oh, let's just get this. Uh, um. Hard to, hard to talk to people. I don't know. I'm 
I'm just, I'm just thinking about like the dis the way that we distribute stuff, you know, um, food and just just ways of looking at things. I'm trying to figure out like what's a good way to look at things that that is. Um, Like that it's true regardless, you know? Just, like for instance, chemistry, okay? Food and our bodies. Um, we're gonna convert that into, into ourselves. Some of it, some of it will be used for us to make us. Most of it will pass through us and not be used. But, um, I don't know. Like, have you ever thought about it like that? Like, all the food. Like, a lot of the stuff um, comes from other parts of the world. You know, maybe tomatoes, maybe Mexico. You know, I don't know if you know or not where they, exactly they came from, but... Um, is somebody here? Good. That's what their buzzer is. Uh, you ever think about things like that? Like, how all this moves around? Like, life and... Sometimes. The biosphere, Sometimes. you know? Like, I'm trying to put it into an explanation, like, a that that is true, that is just a... And it's positive, too, because I think, you know, life is doing a positive thing. It's, it's very good um, how we're organizing ourselves, you know, and structuring ourselves. It's almost like, you think about your blood vessels, you know how they distribute um, your blood around your body and the nutrients and things that your cells need to reproduce and to... Um, keep themselves stable. Well, we're kind of like that too with uh, the highways and things. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on with you, dude? Good to see you. My wife seen you. She's like, isn't that guy from Lost? <laughs> the show. Oh. <laughs> I was, I was thinking I kind of look like Dumbledore now. Oh my god. What do you guys think? You gotta have the gray, dude. You gotta have the gray. Gray? Yeah, I've been you missing some of the wisdom. I'm not just joking. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what were you going to say? Some beard. Beard. Oh yeah, I'm missing a little bit of beard. Dude, I had my shit like just going down here and gold beads, man. Or zap beads, so I had to stop and put it off. Like, man, my Halloween shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Gold beads, like. Dude, I was going as Merlin, man. I was going as a wizard, so I freaking had my gold beads hanging down. I knew, like, look at it, cut the middle out. It kept going down, dude. I had freaking like five inches long of freaking gold beads that I put on there and glued. So you got around. pictures of that somewhere? Oh, yeah, dude, I got pictures. Right, yeah. I brought a picture of me fucking, uh, I was going through my Gothic stage, you know? Fucking my actual my wife. Your wife's stage? Gothic. Gothic. I have okay. my fucking dress coat on, black hair, long, and a ponytail, freaking my face being white shit. I'm just standing there like this, you know? And I looked like I was badass, except you could tell I weighed maybe 98 pounds or what, you know? So what happens when you fucking go on a meth diet? I had burns. Uh, I haven't quite got to make it yet. This gentleman's, uh. You haven't made it yet? Uh, it'd be like seven minutes. 7.3. 7.3 minutes? Yeah. Well, Start eight, 7.3. <laughs> you're, you're gracious. Alright. Uh, 12.7. Do I get a discount? Do I get a discount for being late? You know, Jimmy John's is dagging on time. You're free. Jimmy John's. We don't have no Jimmy John's around here. <laughs> <laughs> we can uh, blow it, man. What's up? <laughs> we can blow it. He didn't look that smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good guy. Trying, trying something new tonight. Oh, nice. Should be good. I like stout. Yeah. So you got party in the night or what? I'm walking solo in a video that's maybe going still. Yeah, I've been recording this whole time. How would you record that shit? What? <laughs> record what? What are you recording it for? I'm just... What video it's, are you it's like a vlog. I'm just talking about ideas that come to mind. That's I mean, cool. think, of, think of the stuff that we talked about in high school. You oh, know, yeah, like dude, that... Hey. That cosmic yeah, banditos and stuff? Yeah, I just, I just heard some, some screwed up stuff there on that one, dude. Fucking, you were talking about, uh... You, I'll, you ever, you I'll debunk the, anything you got. What do you got? Okay, okay. Or, or... James, you can't go back in time, right? You can't go back in time because our universe is sort of flat. Not quite round. You start out, you're going to end. Okay, that's just a model. Yeah, you're around it, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I yeah. Heard, well, I heard... Okay, I was going to read about this, that what happened could have been a four-dimensional uh, sun exploding, and when it exploded, it created a three-dimensional bubble. And we're the ones that are inside it. That's why our, our universe you, is more holographic than it is. Do you have a reality. name? Do you have a name to go along with this? Like, is it somebody's 
No, it was, in, it was in a popular science or uh, astronomy. It was an astronomy book. Astronomy magazine? Yeah, yeah. We're at the library. I was reading that shit and I read it about twice and then I tried to get some of my co workers to read it. They had memorized, you know, penitentiary knowledge and they didn't understand a damn thing. Penitentiary <laughs> knowledge. Yeah. They're like, would you call me? <laughs> no, just listen. I'm trying to explain this to you. Quit calling yeah. the names. It's, no. it's hard to explain, especially to people who don't have the vocabulary. Or you got you know? people who think that they know it already and then you go tell them that and they don't have nothing. They're like, I think most people think they know There's a lot of things. conversation, but, you know? You change the subject. Let's talk, talk about uh, breadsticks now, you know? It's like, dude, I'm talking about this. Stay on track. Breadsticks are an easy mm -hmm. thing to talk about. Now, when it comes to physics, you know, or yeah, yeah. describing yeah. describing how the universe works to people, that's not I mean, easy. Well, hey, I mean, I've been here, I've been re I read some, some screwy stuff, man. Like, what? 75 to 78 percent of the universe is matter, is dark matter? Dark energy. Dark, dark energy. Seventy percent is dark energy. Twenty-five percent is dark matter. Five percent is baryonic matter. We are baryonic matter. Could you imagine now? Look at the trick there, right? Look at the trick there. Four five with the contrast. We can only perceive fifty percent of the light around us. Perceive fifty percent of the light that actually is hitting our planet. The radiation waves. You talk about the radiation. You talk about the sun. Yeah. Then you got the sun. Yeah. Any light. Any light. Okay, hold on. Let me stop you, though. A lot of the radiation passes right through the Earth. Yeah, but you would think that if we would have developed eyes to be able to see whatever is hitting the Earth, not being blocked out. This, this is the most useful spectrum that we can about it, utilize. It, I guess it might Visible be a light spectrum. It might be, but if you think about it, if there's, when there's no absolute, no, that might not really actually be okay, there. Okay, now you're getting into philosophy think, and like, solid You would think that light that's reflecting back would be a hell of a lot more different, a different array of what you actually see. You think we would have developed eyes yes. that would be able to see at nighttime as well in the daytime? No, 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 no. Because it takes more resources. That's like saying, why can't I run as fast as a cheetah? And yeah, be as big as an elephant. That's his structure. And there's right there. there's a reason we can't run as fast as cheetahs and be as big as elephants because it would take too much energy. Yeah, and that's why we have technology to supplement that with motorcycles and, and trucks. So if you think about it, your eyeballs are seeing things. It doesn't take up that much energy. No, no, no. It doesn't. We're just receiving. Yeah. I, I think that it's bad. It's very limited. Very poor freaking meat suit. <laughs> I think but it's crappy meat suit. Man. Evolution is not done. This is just the present. Where this oh, is, we've we've come this far. I got that. Who because knows where we'll go? Our teeth are disappearing from the back. So, of our jaws, yeah, right? but that's just your life. That's individual lives. Our individual lives Isn't are. That evolution? No, it's evolution is millions of years. We are just examples of it. We're December Tem 30th. temporary examples. We're December thirtieth in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, you know Carl Sagan. <laughs> uh, calendar. So, so but but that's just. When you look at that calendar, it goes to December 30th, but there's still more years ahead on now that Now, what year does that make me think? Should I be able to see the night? <laughs> okay, we've, we've been in existence. The universe has been around about 13.8 billion years, right? Yeah, 14. Very likely that we could go on for another 13.8 billion. The heat death of the universe isn't even, mm. like, but, okay, before the heat death, heat death is about a Google year, so you know what a Google is, right? Oh, yeah. So a Google year in the future, that's the heat death of the universe. Everything basically stops. But before that, long before that, there's a thing called the Dark Ages that happen. That's when nothing oh, nothing interacts with anything anymore. Yeah. Yeah. That's, how it was, that's how it was during the first couple of seconds of the Big Bang in the first place. Um, before light came into existence in the first place. Probably not. Yeah, like, stars, were, stars were created instantaneous. There was no light no. but the Big Bang. There was no nothing to but it's more light. It's more a one-way process. We think about the universe expanding and it's not going, right? It's not going, and it's even getting even faster and faster and faster. It's getting but it's not getting faster. It's it's not getting faster. It's not accelerating faster. That's what it's I'm not doing. closed, but it's not that's accelerating why, that's, faster. That's why, I've read is, that's why they're trying to figure out where this dark energy and dark matter actually comes into play to make it so that it's getting faster. Einstein predicted the cosmological constant. That's the expansion. That yeah, was. He also predicted the crunch. The big part. crunch. No, no, no. Einstein didn't predict a big crunch. Oh, yeah. No, he didn't. Einstein didn't do it. You're thinking of Stephen Hawking. No, Einstein is when I first connected the fundamental powers that actually they utilized to make that, to understand that part of it. Okay, but the big crunch that you're talking about, that's, remember when the we came up with the Hubble constant? <laughs> okay, Edwin Hubble came up with the expansion of the universe based on the redshift of yeah. light, of visible light. Plus he found magnifying glasses in his face. Oh, okay, um, that's irrelevant yeah. to this. The, the redshift of the light, he realized that the universe is expanding, okay? Because everything is stretching out. 
Now, when they looked at the gravity, they realized that maybe things should be collapsing back in on themselves, right? Oh, but it didn't. But it didn't, no, because the, that Hubble constant, that is the expansion constant, you know? So we knew that things were expanding. But it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm telling you, it's going to keep on expanding to the point where there's no stars. That's where your dark, that's where your dark is going to come because everything is dark so energy. far apart. Yeah, that, okay. That you're not, it's dark age. Yeah, but it's not, I don't know that it's accelerating, though. And then it, you might be right. And then it's going to get to the point, though, where not even particles are, are touching each other. Yes, and that's the heat death. That's essentially the heat death. It sort of sucks. Dude. I was sort of hoping for the big crunch so we could do it all over again. Yeah, if it's if it was <laughs> cyclical, but it, you know? it's probably not cyclical. No, no, no more cycling. It I just it just pisses me off. And I don't even subscribe to the whole multiverse thing. Like as, as I can see it interesting as it would seem. I can, yeah, I can see it. It's a good sci-fi. Like say say book. the gravitational constant was different in another universe, you know. And if there was some way that we could bridge the gap between our universe and that universe, then we could go where gravity was different or but would that, that would that would be assuming that each decision that was made during the you know, whatever each layer upon layer is actually even enough and close enough to each other that you could because if they're supposedly separated too much you you wouldn't be able to do it it's not, it's not star trek mirror mirror you know it's not they don't transport into an off zone there's no there's, there's no possibility that, that prove it or disprove it <coughs> excuse me sorry that's the thing I, that's why i don't i don't go for it the uh the way that you can <coughs> unless, they, unless they come up with a, the, the, the equation for everything, maybe. Yeah. maybe and you, you that. know that that is what we're going after. The theory of everything is yeah, the maybe. most important thing. When that equation comes into play, and we're in starship, we're across the galaxy. Well, then I could be like, yeah, let's the do The most this. useful thing would be able to take stuff that we're not utilizing and convert it into something more useful. Yeah, yeah dude, everything can be converted. Everything's balanced. That's nothing. Exactly. That's, that's what Protons, electrons, neutrons. I don't believe in because if I were to go back in time to see myself again, yeah. I'm mad matter to a universe time, that did not want my time travel is probably it. unlikely. You can travel into the future by slowing down time for yeah. yourself and speeding it up for other people. Not cruising in the spaceship. But you can't like, travel back in the past. You know, like relativity shows that when we put clocks on on satellites, yeah, you know, they, they receive now. different times. I so, think that you know this too, probably. Then. All, the, all your physics equations that you've gone through, that you've seen, they're not linear. There's no forward or backward. There's no proof that time itself is actually moving or not moving. Man, that's one of the things that bugs me the most. What, what is time? What, where did time come from and why is it a because factor? It's got movement. It's got movement. It's way we can measure. No, 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 no. That's a product of it. All this this motion and stuff that we're experiencing, that's, we that's a product of the time. But where did the time come from? Like, I can understand the gravity. I can understand the nuclear forces. I can understand that, like, in terms of energy and matter. But time itself is one of the parts that... Well, they say that it happens all at one time. Everything is this. Our little brain can't handle that. So we have to actually divide it into sections. I'm sort of glad of that one, because I don't want to be in things like you're gone again. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I I want to cop out and just say that time has to... Yeah. It just has to be. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. It is a factor. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't it is a function. It is a function. It is. You right. know, a relativity you know. was the first introduction of how fundamental time is but as a function and how it can be. Have you ever heard the saying that time is an effect and strength imposed upon us by ourselves? No. Have you heard of that before? No. I mean, that. Oh, you said that, don't you? The guy who said that, Mark Twain. Well, Mark Twain wasn't a physicist. <laughs> oh, you know, man, that's pretty cool. Poet, you know, that's a pretty good poster, man. That's a poster. You hang up yeah. right there in your bathroom. A, a motivation. Right next to your doll A, dude. <laughs> um, I'm interested in what the physicists have to say about physics. Yeah. <laughs> not, not what Mark Twain has to say about physics. You have to that theoretical part of it. Anything else is weird. Because you can't prove or disprove it, so why are we trying to prove or disprove it? That's why we just got to look at the real data. What we see what we know, what we can test, what is verifiable. That's what's important, the real data that we can take in yeah, and incorporate into our models. There's a saying that I do, I do a lot of time about the cat and how big the universe was. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, you know, I, 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 I try to explain it. I try to explain it. 
93 billion light years, 46.5 billion light years. Here's what I actually told my son when he asked me that. Have you heard of the falls in the green sand? Me. To see a world in a grain of sand, and I have it in a wildflower full of infinity, in the palm of your hand, and you turn it in an hour. See, I told him that. So that's how big the universe is. If you understand what the hell they're talking about, then you'll understand how big the universe is. You should give him something real. I have. I have. I have. I have. He's 12. You're at the you know, 12. I was already ready at 12. He's a 10th grade mathematics, English. He's a dude, I won't score his prediction and encyclopedia. Dictionary and encyclopedias. I hope it's I Discovery hope. Channel. I hope it's cool. I do it roughly. That's my job. 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 Did you know what you wanted ahead of time? Did you call in order? Yeah, but I got the wife in the vehicle. Oh, I'm sorry. I, can she see me? I apologize. Oh, I'm going to have to get a big guy from Lost. Oh, really? Which guy from Lost? I don't know who he is. I don't watch Lost. Oh, he's a long time ago. I don't watch either. Lost. No, he's already around. He's the guy from Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the big guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the big guy. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm else. sorry. We had to wait anyway. I, I've seen her before. I saw her. I saw you guys across the street. Is this one of your sons? Oh, you're all Hey. You're 12 years old? How old? The universe? No. 13.8 billion years old. Thir 13.4. The Earth, the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. Our textbooks are different than the ones he reads. Oh my goodness! What do you mean your textbooks are different? <laughs> are you guys like all textbooks are different, dude? <laughs> are, you, are you guys like religious or something? Yes. Yeah. Are, <laughs> are, are you? Are you on like going on everything? Your physics and God. Uh, well, hey man. We ask you, Grant. We ask you, dude. Humans don't have a soul. We are a soul, just happen to have a body. And I don't 